Hi, my name is Fiona and today I wanted to show you how to create a double exposure. Hi, I recently posted this double exposure on my social media and I had a lot of interest in that and a lot of requests to record a tutorial. So this one is for you and I hope you will enjoy it. First thing you need to do is take a right photo. This photo should be taken on a white background. I used a window and there was a curtain on that window and I just asked my son to stand over there and just look at a certain point in distance. I used my 85 millimeter lens. The shutter speed was 1 to 100 of a second and the ISO was 160. I think that it, it, should, it could be a 100 ISO and, and a little longer shutter speed. It, wouldn't matter because it was a very static scene. After taking this photo we need to take it to Lightroom. You can also use Adobe Camera Raw for that and we're going to make that one black and white. And I'll go straight up here to crop. Oh, before I do that I need to crop my image and I, I crop it usually because it does not go well on Instagram when it's too tall and thin like if it's two by three as it usually comes from my sensor then it's just too tall and long and Instagram will crop it anyway so I will crop it myself I'm going to use four by three and at the same time I just want to crop out this um, this little fellow I think I'm going to cover just the, the rest of it with the spot removal tool and now we're going to change the image to black and white and I'm going to use profiles for that. So we just have to click on those four squares and I'm going to use legacy profiles. If you can't see those legacy profiles, you just have to go to this plus sign and go to manage profiles and you'll see some of the profiles may be turned off and you need to turn it on. So I will use black and white because it's quite contrasty and I need that contrast. And you can go here to your sliders and then adjust those sliders a little so you see um, a little more contrast. So I need those darks to be really dark and whites to be really white just in order to have those images blend in nicely. After doing so you may also want to go to color grading and add some color to your image so it's not completely black and white but there is some color picking through. After all those changes you may go to Photoshop. I'm going to use edit in Adobe Photoshop. So when you have your image in Photoshop you might now choose your second image. I believe that it should be more of like a wider shot, maybe, maybe even a nature shot, it doesn't have to be a person. Um, it can be some kind of trees or mountains or whatever you find attractive, but it has to be quite contrasty at the same time. I would not recommend choosing another portrait, so kind of like putting one face on another face, but I do not um, I do not want to stop you from, from being creative. So if you think that that would work, just go for it. I, I, was, I personally thought that I would prefer an image um, more of a like a um, nature shot or something like that. So I chose an image of my son that I took once by a lake and this is it. it like there's much more sky and so on. There's, there's uh, him also and I'm going to move that layer around and place it somewhere like on his head. I don't, I don't know where yet. I'm going to change the blending mode first from normal to screen and then it will be easier for me to choose the right placement for this image. Uh, if I want to make it bigger or smaller at this point you may either go to edit, transform and then scale or rotate whatever you want. Um, I'm going to click command or control on Windows plus T as transform and it's going to take me to transform tool and then I can move it around a little more. If I like my placement I will create a layer mask to just erase some of that image to make this um, original, the, the, the portrait more visible. So I'm going to create a layer mask with this icon here. It created a white layer mask so I, I need a black brush 
and I'm going to brush over his face. It's important that your brush is soft so that hard mess is zero. I like to use my opacity to 100 and change flow to something lower. I'm, I'm using like around 20. And let's just paint over his face a little and a little here because I can see a little just the edge of the photo on his t-shirt. Paint over here and on his neck as well. I like it this way so I'm just going to add another um, element to this and I was thinking about this birds kind of flying just outside of, uh, of the frame of his face. So I will use birds that you can find on my website divanapodlesinska.com under uh, for photographers and there there will be a lot of other things that you might use. There are dandelion seeds, there are um, soap bubbles and um, I don't know some kind of other things that you might use. There are some rains and smoke and things like that. Something may work for you or you can use, um, or you can use birds as I did. And you just place it the same way as we did with the other image. So I'm just going to grab this and put it on the image. And it's done. And the, right, the image is ready. I hope you liked it. And I think it's a great piece of art to put somewhere on your wall, like uh, above your couch or somewhere. And um, Coming back to those birds that I just added uh, on the second image that I did with my older son, I used those um, lanterns uh, and I kind of cut, it, cut them out from the original picture and put it above his head. So it kind of like part of this image kind of goes beyond uh, the frame of his face, which I think that that's kind of adds a little to the um, to that uh, double exposure. But you can do whatever you want. The only thing stopping you is your own creativity. And I would love to invite you to my website, vanapodleska.com, where you can find more overlays that you can use with those images. And you can also find my tutorials where I teach how I do my usual editing. And also, uh, please check workshops because I do go outside of Poland to teach uh, in other countries too and might be in your area and we might meet and shoot together. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.